Hi, peeps. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's Easter. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. Um, my younger daughter got her first taste of a peep this morning and it seemed to be quite a revelation for her given her face at the time. Um, I personally will not be enjoying these. There are other treats that I would rather have than peeps, but uh, this one goes out to all my peeps. So this is the last video before the pre-order launches, pre-order of Go Milk Yourself, the book. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the thousands and thousands of you across the world who have viewed our videos this week talking about the pre-order and what Go Milk Yourself can do and watching our free video which is only available until 11.59 tonight at themilkandmama.com backslash free video. Your support means the world to me and it teaches me because I have so many things that I'm learning from you that I can then give to you and add to my own teaching. So thanks for being out there, my peeps. Um, I want to tell you how excited I am for the pre-order. It's launching in about 13 hours, 6 a.m. on the East Coast at www.themilkandmama.com. You will find the book pre-order available for you only. And there are going to be some special bonuses that come for those of you who choose to pre-order. I'll share more about those in a moment. But first, I want to give you, I want to tell you a story. And it's a story from me. I went away from my baby when she was five months old. I'd been back at work at that point for about two months. And I worked my boobs off to get extra milk for her. I pumped, I took all kinds of things, galactagogs, and drank extra water, and all, everything anybody said that could increase my milk supply, I did so that I could have extra milk for my baby. I still stress every single day. But let me tell you about the mess, most stressful moment of that time. I got on a plane, I flew across the country, I dropped my daughter off with her grandparents and I drove away and in the car I realized I didn't have the tubes for the cord to my pump. They were back at home in New York because the last thing I'd done before I left was, you know, pump. And I left them there and I had no way to get any pump parts in the mountains of this yoga retreat where I was going. My friend said, I thought you knew how to get it out with your hands. Like, can't you do that while we're on the retreat this weekend? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Not like that. Like, I get a little bit of extra out, some bonus milk after pumping, but that's it. And she's like, well, why don't we just try and then we can create a plan where we drive her to her grandparents if we need to or they can come meet us. Fine. So I'm still in this scarcity space and um, I take a break. Uh, a few hours later in the middle of our first yoga class to go try to express milk and I'm a hundred percent certain it's not gonna work for me and less than 24 hours later I was standing in front of a mini fridge in our hotel room counting ounces and I had 29 ounces of milk that I had hand expressed in 24 hours no pump no electricity outlet needed no cord no battery no machine just this and a bottle and that taught me so much. It taught me that I could understand that I was enough through the process of hand expressing my own milk. That I could do it myself. My mom says that was my first sentence. And I could, I did it myself. And so let that be a story that helps you understand that there are some things we think are impossible that actually become possible when we believe and when we're willing to work hard and really reach out for the support and knowledge that we don't yet have. So I wanna answer two of the questions that you've presented to me in the last few days. Um, I promised I would answer these in my next video and they're kind of fun ones. One of them is, isn't this weird? It's totally weird, right? It's weird. Or it's not weird at all. You can look at it both ways. Hand expression might seem weird because you've never done it and you've never heard of anybody doing it. Or it might seem weird because you tried it and it didn't work. Or maybe it hurt or felt uncomfortable. Or maybe it's weird because in some ways we're not comfortable touching our own bodies. In some ways we're more comfortable having a machine take our milk out. And touch of ourselves. I mean, is that something that's only sexual? Is that something that's only for pleasure as opposed to something that's useful and can help us? I think that hand expression does seem weird and definitely did seem weird to anybody who hasn't tried it before. And then I also know that it completely transformed my life 
and that the same is true for thousands of women across the world who for many, many years before you and I were even born were hand expressing their milk with their own hands. So is it weird? Unfamiliar, sure. Badass and crazy, totally. Could it change your life and really empower you? It absolutely can. And the other question I wanna answer is, I'm afraid. I'm afraid, what if I'm afraid this won't work for me? And that was me. I was in a breastfeeding support group a few months into my first stint of motherhood. And a mom said that she didn't use a pump. She was a stay at home mom. She had no use for, you know, she didn't need milk except if she wanted to get a break. So she said, if I ever want to get a break, I just hand express a bottle. And I was like, well, that's crazy. Who could ever do that? And I was a hundred percent sure that hand expression wasn't, was something that wouldn't work for me. And so to answer the question, what if I'm afraid this won't work for me? I urge you to try it. Get the book, take a workshop, check out our videos, sign up for a private session, message me with questions, give it a shot. One of the most inspirational women I know, Dana, says, everything you want is on the other side of fear. So if you're seeking freedom and less stress, gotta get over yourself. Your fear is the only thing standing in your way. So what if you're afraid it doesn't work for you? That's cool, you can be afraid. Also give it a shot. And you might be really pumped to find out what comes of that. So, I want to offer you some bonuses. If you pre-order the book, you'll get three things. Three. The first is the Milk and Mama's Basics of Hand Expression video. You'll get that in your inbox and you'll have access to it. The second is the Go Milk Yourself mix. We have a boob assistant, Lisa, who also happens to be a fantastic musicologist and she has created a badass mix just for us, the Go Milk Yourself mix. And the third thing that you'll get is the Milk and Mama's handy guide to expressing and storing your breast milk. And that's something you can schlep with you wherever you can go, wherever you go. Now these three bonuses are only available to those of you who take advantage of the pre-order. And remember that the pre-order is only available for a limited time. 6 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, Monday, April 17th, until 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, Sunday, April 23rd. That's it. After that, the pre-order goes away and so do the bonuses. So if you wanna be rocking out to some music, checking out your handy guide, watching a video while you wait for that pre-ordered book to come in, pre-ordering is gonna be the way that you want to go. So remember, we only have a few hours left. You can ask questions, you can add your comments. Anything else that you wanna share, you can put in the comments right below here. I'm right here for you. I'll probably not be able to sleep tonight because I'm so pumped. And I wanna thank you for your time, for being here with me this week. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you when the cart opens at 6 a.m. tomorrow at www.themilkandmama.com backslash three order. See ya peeps. Go milk yourself. <laughs>